Peyton Man is gunned down in broad daylight. This one happened at the Whitney Young Estates in the 4700 block of Germantown Pike. Alexa Ashwell live with the latest on this unfolding investigation. Alexa. Mark, Michelle, unfortunately, we did not receive that update from police in terms of the shooting suspect. We do know that they know who this man is, and at this hour, they are exhausting every effort in tracking him down. Now, earlier today, I spoke with residents, and they tell me what is most disturbing about this shooting is the fact that so many children were outside at the time and witnessed it happen. The stone-cold reality is hard to bear for family members and friends of 25-year-old Essien Obong. He was gunned down as neighborhood children watched in the parking lot of the Whitney Young Estates. And we all ran down here and we see him laying there taking his last breath. Everybody was trying to talk to him, tell him, uh, wake up, wake up, it's going to be okay, it's going to be okay. But it wasn't. Nearby residents rushed out of their homes, but it was too late. Obong died as help was arriving. He, and it was over from there. Investigators are now trying to piece together the events that led to this shooting. For now, they can only speculate that some type of argument caused the suspect to pull the trigger not once, not twice, but multiple times when the victim was not even armed. There was a lot of people out today, so uh, we believe that there were uh, numerous people that saw what went on here and know, know what went on. It's a senseless death that's causing residents to again question their safety. We have so many children, half of them just got off the school bus right before all of this happened. So, yeah, I mean, it definitely brings a fear to the property for our kids and our elderly and everybody else who lives here. Now, from what we understand, neither the suspect or the victim lived in the complex, which, according to residents, seems to be a pattern in all the shootings that happen in the area. They're sick of it and want the violence to stop. If you have any information on this shooting, contact Crime Stoppers at 222-7867. Reporting live in Dayton, Alexa Ashwell, 2 News on your side.